The Magic School Bus Makes a Rainbow, written by Joanna Cole and illustrated by Bruce Deacon. In Miss Frizzle's class, a good question can lead to anything. Take the other day, for example. We were all sitting in our classroom making rainbows. Why are rainbows red on the outside and violet on the inside? Ralphie asked. It's because the colors of a rainbow come out according to the length of the light waves, Arnold answered. Red is the longest wavelength and violet is the shortest. What in the world was Arnold talking about? Wait until you see my rainbow, Carlos said. Carlos was making a rainbow by putting different colored candy wrappers over a bunch of flashlights. But you need color to make a rainbow, said Dorothy Ann, waving her paintbrush. Not candy wrappers and flashlights. But my colored candy wrappers make color by coloring the light, said Carlos. Dream on, Carlos, said D.A. Color is color and light is light. Oh yeah? I'll show you color. Look, said Carlos, shining a red light on Dorothy Ann's rainbow. Suddenly, we heard strange dings and beeps coming from inside Miss Frizzle's closet. What was making all that noise? Let's check it out, said Wanda, as she headed towards the door. Wanda, we can't go in there, said Arnold. But Wanda was more curious than scared. She slowly opened the door, and there was Miss Frizzle, playing on the most amazing pinball machine we'd ever seen. I made this machine myself, Miss Frizzle told us. You play by activating the panoramic pulse pumper, which sends a burst of white light, better known as regular everyday light, into the machine. Then you try to make a rainbow with the white light. Hold it, Keisha shouted. Rainbows are all different colors. How can you make a rainbow out of white light? I'll be happy to show you, Keisha, Miss Frizzle said, but I have only one game left to do it. If I can light up all six colors of the rainbow, I get to keep the machine. But if I lose, said Miss Frizzle sadly, this machine will be taken away. We wondered who would be taking it away, but Miss Frizzle seemed so upset, no one had the heart to ask. Just then, Miss Frizzle got that funny look in her eye. Single file class, she said. Time for a field trip. As usual, Arnold tried to get out of it, and much to our surprise, Miss Frizzle said he could stay behind. Buckle up, class, and prepare for a colorful experience, said Miss Frizzle. Take him away, Liz. But just before we took off, Miss Frizzle got off the bus. The next thing we knew, we'd shrunk and were flying into a teeny bus towards the classroom. Then, whoosh, the bus turned into a little ball of white light and flew right through the glass of the pinball machine. We couldn't believe it. We were inside the machine, surrounded by mirrors and a bunch of colorful objects and a prism. How do you make the rainbow? asked Carlos, looking at the prism and mirrors inside the game. By getting colored light into the colored eyes, said Miss Frizzle, pointing to the eyes on the scoreboard. Red light has to go into the red eye, orange light into the orange eye, yellow light into the yellow eye, and all six colors into six colored eyes, and you only have six chances to do it. To show us how the game worked, Miss Frizzle pulled back the panoramic pulse pumper. When she let go of it, a ball of white light blasted up the chute into the machine. Totally cool, said Wanda. The white light then hit a mirror at the top of the chute and bounced off into a special piece of glass called a prism. We all expected the white light to come out to the other side of the prism, but it didn't. Instead, six different colors came out, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, and all six colors were coming right at us. We all hit the floor, and the colored lights shot right over our heads. When the lights hit the black wall behind us, they disappeared. Oh no, said Phoebe. None of the colored lights went into the colored eyes. Miss Frizzle used the instant replay screen to show us what had happened. I see, said Keisha. The white light went up the chute and bounced off a mirror. Yes, said Tim. Then it went into the prism. And it came out as all the colors of the rainbow, D.A. added. Then the colors must have come from the white light, concluded Wanda. Now we knew that to make a rainbow, we had to get the colored lights that came out of the prism into the colored eyes. We were ready. 
But we only have five chances left to get the six colors into the eyes, worried Phoebe. It seems to me you've got to keep the colored light bouncing off things until it hits the right colored eye, Arnold said. Since the white light bounced off the mirror, Wanda added, maybe the colored lights will bounce too. Good thinking, Wanda, said Carlos. We could line up a mirror to bounce the red light into the red eye. But just as Miss Frizzle was about to send the white light pulse number two up the chute, we heard a voice. It was Mr. Rule, our principal. Miss Frizzle sent Arnold out to keep Mr. Rule busy while we were trying to win the game. White light pulse number two coming at you, said Miss Frizzle. She released the panoramic pulse pumper. As the white light blasted through the prism, we pushed the mirror into the path of the red light. But the red light didn't just hit the mirror. It hit the mirror, a red fruit, and then bounced into the red eye. Next, we put a mirror in what we thought was the perfect spot to bounce the orange light coming out of the prism into the orange eye. Let her rip, Mrs. Frizzle, said Carlos. White light pulse number three up the tree, said Miss Frizzle releasing the white light. The white light came up the chute, went through the prism, and split into six colors. The orange light bounced off the mirror, just as we had planned. But instead of going into the orange eye, the orange light hit a green shamrock and disappeared. Where did the orange light go? yelled Wanda. Then, to everyone's surprise, the green light that had come out of the prism with the orange light hit the same shamrock and didn't disappear at all. Instead, it bounced into the green eye. Hmm, red light, red fruit. Green light, green shamrock. DA was thinking hard. When we see something, say, like green, she asked Miss Frizzle, is it by any chance green because only green light bounces off green objects and into our eyes? Miss Frizzle nodded and smiled. Now we knew that light bounces off mirrors and off things. Red light bounces off the red fruit, green light bounces off the green shamrock, yellow light bounces off the yellow banana but we still had to get the orange, blue, yellow, and violet lights into the right colored eyes, and we only had three white light pulses left. We need to sink two at once or we're sunk, said Carlos. How about orange and blue, suggested Phoebe. They look nice together. We all agreed, so we lined up as many orange and blue things as possible. We were going to try to bounce the orange light that came out of the prism into the orange eye, and the blue light into the blue eye at the same time. White light pulse number four out the door, said Miss Frizzle. The white light went up the chute, hit the mirror, and bounced into the prism. As before, it came out as the six colors of the rainbow. The orange light bounced off the mirror, hit one orange, then the other orange, and bounced right into the orange eye. Bingo, cried Ralphie. At the same time, the blue light bounced off a mirror, hit the blue fish, and bounced toward Carlos and his blue sweatshirt. Why me? moaned Carlos as it got closer and closer and closer. At the last second, he ducked. The blue light whizzed over his head, smashed into the yellow bus behind him, and disappeared. Meanwhile, Mr. Rule had taken Arnold to the library to look for Miss Frizzle. Poor Arnold tried to keep Mr. Rule's mind off Miss Frizzle by reading from a book. A blue fish is blue because it bounces only blue light, which we see when we reach our eyes. Just then, Arnold's stomach growled. Good thinking, Arnold, said Mr. Rule. Maybe Miss Frizzle is in the cafeteria. Back inside the machine, we were all set up to bounce the yellow light into the yellow eye. We were also going to try again to bounce the blue light into the blue eye. White light pulse number five, ready to jive, said Miss Frizzle. This time, when the blue light came out of the prism and zipped towards Carlos, he was ready for it. No way am I ducking this time, he said, and he didn't. The blue light bounced off his sweatshirt and into the blue eye. At the same time, the yellow light bounced off the mirror, hit the yellow banana, hit the yellow bus, and bounced into the yellow eye. The last color we had to get into an eye was violet, and we had only one light pulse left. The pressure was on. 
Last white light in sight, said Miss Frizzle as she let go of the panoramic pulse pumper. It's rainbow time. The white light bounced into the prism and split into six colors. The violet light then hit the mirror, bounced off a bunch of purple grapes, and headed towards the yellow bus. Oh no, not the yellow bus, cried Keisha. If violet hits yellow, it'll disappear, said Carlos, and the game will be over, cried Tim. But suddenly, D.A. reached into her book bag and held up a violet-colored book in front of the yellow bus. The violet light bounced off the violet book and into the violet eye. We'd done it. We'd made the rainbow. Now Miss Frizzle could keep her pinball machine. Okay, Liz, said Carlos, climbing into the bus with the others. Let's get out of here. Liz tried and tried, but no matter what she did, she couldn't get the bus out of the pinball machine. Just then, we all heard a familiar voice from the other side of the door. Mr. Rule was back. Miss Frizzle hurried from the closet and joined Arnold and Mr. Rule in the classroom. Good morning, Mr. Rule, she said cheerily. Then she turned to Arnold. Arnold, I think I left my color notes in the closet. See if you can get them out, okay? Arnold hurried into the closet to see what was going on. What's going on in there? asked Arnold as she came into the closet. We can't get out, said Carlos. You know, said Arnold, you got in there by turning into light. Arnold, you're a genius, said Carlos. We got in as light, we'll get out as light. Liz pressed a few buttons and turned the bus into white light. But when she tried to drive us out of the machine, the bus hit the mirror and bounced right into the prism. The next thing we knew, there were six of each of us. One in every color. Cool, said Ralphie. I can be my own basketball team. The rest of us didn't think it was very funny. What are we going to do? How are we going to get out of here? Wanda cried. Wanda was not the only one who was worried. We all wondered if there would be six of each of us, one for every color in the rainbow, forever. Then Dorothy Ann had a really good idea. If the prism splits white light into colors, what happens when the color light goes back through the prism the way it came in? We decided to give it a try. Fasten your seat belts, said Arnold. I'm going to hit the flipper and flip you all backwards towards the prism. As he planned, Arnold flipped us back into the prism. We went in as six different colors and came out the other side as white light. It was amazing. Then Liz drove the bus up and out of the pinball machine. Open the door, Arnold, coming through, yelled Carlos. Arnold opened the closed door and we flew into the classroom and out the open window. When we were safely outside, the bus changed us back into our normal selves. We ran in to find Miss Frizzle and Mr. Rule. We figured it out, Miss Frizzle, said Carlos. All the colors of the rainbow are hidden in ordinary light, which means white light is just filled with color, agreed Dorothy Ann. Speaking of color and light, Mr. Rule said to Miss Frizzle, did you, uh, make the rainbow? As a matter of fact, I didn't, said Miss Frizzle. Then the pinball machine is mine, all mine, exclaimed Mr. Rule. We were very surprised to learn that it was Mr. Rule who would have gotten the pinball machine if we hadn't made the rainbow. Actually, it isn't yours, said Miss Frizzle. I didn't make the rainbow, but my class did. Are you sure I can't have the machine? Mr. Rule asked. He looked very disappointed. I'm sure, said Miss Frizzle, but you can come here and play it whenever you want. Really? said Mr. Rule with a smile. Can I play it now? Absolutely, said Miss Frizzle. You look as if you could use a little light entertainment. <laughs>